Every now and then, really cool technology or software comes into my life. Like when I got my first universal remote control, I thought, wow, this changes everything. Recently, a fellow geek told me about these things called Confluence and Jira. And immediately, I was delighted. If confluence had been a thing during my professional life, it would have meant an endless possibility of avoiding work by bugging other people with my intrusive opinions. I would have loved it. Enjoy your blessings of a late birth, young geeks. Watch and learn the graceful work avoidance strategies. Confluence and Jira. Bring it on, Sean. <laughs> work avoidance strategies? They're not... Betty, do you even read the scripts we send you? Seriously, does she? Or does she just play Call of Duty all day? Confluence, a wiki collaboration tool, and Jira, an issue tracking tool, are both developed by Atlassian, who have in the last few years seen continued growth and success. We use both tools at Pesla, and today we're going to tell you more about how we use them. This might sound like an advertisement for Atlassian, but it's really not. We have no affiliation with them whatsoever. We just use their products, we like their products, and we want to share it with you, and maybe you can get some ideas from it as well. In general, there are two ways that you can install Jira and Confluence. You can host the instance yourself on your local environment, or Atlassian can host your instance for you. We chose the option of hosting it ourselves, so we can't say too much about the cloud option. So, to get an idea of the implementation of both tools, we decided to ask an IT admin here at Pesla for some information. Aurelio, how was it implementing these tools? Was no problem. No problem, right? Maybe you have some words of advice for system administrators who are also going to implement these tools? No. There you have it. Thank you, Aurelio, for your insights. Luckily, I asked him the questions in a JIRA ticket, which is correct procedures. So how long did the implementation of Confluence take? Well, legend has it, two hours. An admin here at Pesta was asked to install a test version of Confluence, and he did so on a virtual machine with the default configuration. After about a day or so, he asked the team that was supposed to be evaluating Confluence how the test was going, and they replied, test? What test? It's live, and we've already saved everything possible in it. And the rest is history. For both Confluence and Jira, configuration was then done as and when requirements arose. We host Confluence and Jira here at Pesla in a virtual environment. Updates to both applications require some downtime. We found around an hour for Confluence and about 30 minutes for Jira. We don't install every update, but rather make about two or three updates per year. Unless there is a killer feature or major security update in between, then we'll make the update. Now, let's take a quick look at each tool and we'll pull back the curtain so you can see how we use them at Pesla. Confluence, a wiki collaboration tool, has become our intranet. We can create pages and blog posts and basically share what our hearts desire with the entire company. While sometimes this is a good thing, like step-by-step -step guides for how to apply for vacation or what's on the menu at our bistro this week, it's not always useful. For example, a page where people share pictures of their pets. Actually, I love that page. <laughs> for these pages and blog posts, you can restrict viewing and editing rights. You can set up all levels of collaboration. So either you're setting up a page where only you can update or you're opening it up to everyone for them to update. Collaborating is pretty simple too. You can comment on the page, edit the page, share with specific people, tag other users, endless possibilities. So what do we use Confluence for? Here are some examples. Monthly highlights. Many departments publish a monthly highlights blog post. Colleagues from across the company can ask questions in the comments, like the page, or Betty can provide her unsolicited critique. It's a great way to keep track of the successes, issues, and general news of what's going on. Project updates. Many projects have their own Confluence pages where they provide statuses, detail the next steps, or communicate issues. Company guidelines, guides, and announcements. We also use Confluence for more traditional intranet-y things as well. Personal interests and groups. One of the great things about Pesla is how many interests there are. Video game fans, fitness classes and groups, naked paintball, squirrel watches, you name it. All of these interests can be organized using our Confluence pages. The upside of all these things is that our email trail is reduced while the communication lines are far more open than if we relied only on email. Jira at Pesla. 
at the heart of it, Jira is an issue tracker tool, but it's also so much more. How do we use it at Pesla? Track issues. It's an issue tracking tool, so we use it to track issues, obviously. While we use other tools for external support issues, we use Jira internally to track things like tasks, development projects, and all kinds of things. You can also assign tickets to a Kanban board. That way, colleagues in and outside of your team can keep track of the statuses of the tasks. Task dependency. If one task impacts another task, you can set a dependency in Jira. For example, developer A is working on functionality and developer B is working on an API that utilizes that functionality. Developer B can update his Jira ticket to say that it is blocked by the Jira ticket of developer A. In other words, it's a great way to blame someone else when your work is late. Tag people. A Jira ticket generally has a reporter, the one who opened the ticket, and an assignee, the one currently working on the ticket. But you can also tag others as well. You can do this when you need a review, need some input, and so on. Or if you're Betty and you just wanna spam your colleagues with notifications. One of the best thing about these tools is the integration between them. For example, you can list Jira tickets on a Confluence page, and then the Jira tickets will feature a mentioned on page link to the Confluence page. This is useful, for example, if you want to mention tickets belonging to a project on the project page in Confluence. Confluence and Jira have both contributed to the open communicative nature that we have here at Pesla. Now that you know a little bit more about these tools, I return you to Betty for her closing remarks. Okay, Sean seems to think that Confluence and Jira are good for something, and maybe he's right. Maybe. Do you know what can save you from doing your actual work while you're sitting at your desk? Our YouTube channel. If that's not a reason to subscribe to our YouTube channel, I don't know what is.